Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today is going to be a quick lesson on good hurdy-gurdy playing posture in six concise angst-free steps. So if you've just started playing, I hope this will be helpful to you and I am going to dive right in. One, find a good place to sit. And this can be a stool, a chair, a couch, the edge of your bed, whatever works for you as long as it meets two conditions. And condition number one is that you're not going to have any arm rests. You need to have some space on both sides. And two is that you are able to put your left foot back. So you can drop the top of your left thigh. Okay, two, when you have found a good place to sit, strap on your gurney. Um, you can use um, basically a basic guitar strap also work as well. I have uh, one of the fancy leather straps by Sergio. And you're going to strap it around your waist. Uh, it is not a guitar. You actually don't need a shoulder strap unless you are standing up to give it some extra stability um, because you don't have a lap to put it on. But even then, not everybody uses a shoulder strap. We strap it around our waists. So uh, that is to keep it in place. Three, where does the hurdy-gurdy sit on your lap? That is decided by where the knob goes. And where the knob goes is very easy to figure out. You drop your right arm to your side and you bend it at the elbow. There. That's where it goes. And you can see my gurdy sticking out on the left side and that is completely normal. Uh, you want to be able to kind of uh, use your right arm like an engine piston almost. See, there's very little movement in my shoulder. If I would move it more like that, then my right arm has to do a lot more work. So drop your right arm to your side Brace at the elbow. That's like that. Uh, step four, how to hold the knob. The knob sits on this part of your palm. You can kind of also found it, find it by making a gun here with your fingers, pow pow. That's where it sits. And you use uh, the back of your palm and your fingers to kind of make a cage around it. So you, you have multiple contact points to use uh, for your cooping. So this is what it looks like. The thumb is on the top and this is on the front. Uh, this is on the bottom and uh, this part, the base of the thumb on the back like that. That is how you hold it. And I should also point out that the wrist actually doesn't do all that much when you're cranking. So you're not beating eggs. So don't crank like that, really. Your wrist will thank me. <laughs> Just because like that. We are at five. You need to get the right angle on the keyboard. There are two factors to keep in mind. One, the keys, uh, they need gravity to fall back. And two, you want to keep also this wrist in a neutral position. So you kind of want the um, top of the key box to be parallel to your lower arm. So you don't have to curl your hand around like that. And the way you do that is by dropping your shoulder and raising your elbow. Do not drop your elbow and raise your shoulder. You are going to wreck your neck and your shoulder if you do that. Drop your shoulder, raise your elbow. If you can't get this comfortable, like look at the angle like that. If you can't get this comfortable, then you can drop your left leg a little further so the um, keyboard is going to aim down a little bit more then you have the uh, you can see the angles a bit more relaxed like this so neutral position on the wrists drop shoulder raise elbow like that and you can adjust your gurdy from there so 
like that. We have six. Relax your hands. No death grips. So don't squeeze the knob. The knob is kind of like a little bird and you have to have some space to move. If you don't have that space, you're not going to be able to coop. Same goes for the left hand. The strap does the work of keeping your gurdy on your lap. So you don't have to squeeze to keep your gurdy here because then you're not going to be able to move. And as an aside, also be very careful with your thumb. These, these little opposable digits are super, super useful. And if you are overextending them without really noticing, um, that's not going to be nice. And by the way, you can also use them while playing. So relax your hands, relax both of your hands. Don't squeeze on your gurdy. So yeah, I think that's everything. I hope this was useful and interesting and uh, I wish you a very good day, weekend, night, Christmas, whatever time you're watching this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.